get straight right into the news. Let's switch here. I'm gonna start the. Where is it? Uh, oh, got to do that. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna start my phone. See if that helps. All right. Okay. So. Uh, all right. Our first article. Since I get the video up. There we go. Okay. All right. Here we go. So our first news story of the night comes from okay uh this is coming from pcgamerinsider.com written by alex halvin activision blizzard says job cuts could have possibly negative impact on financial performance hobleton giant activision blizzard has said that there is the potential for the eight uh, percent workforce co uh, call that it announced last month to have a negative impact on its business in its annual report, 10K filing with the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, published on February 28th, Activision Blizzard is compelled to warn investors of any risk factors that may impact its financial performance. Much of this section is devoted to a fairly typical concern that is reported before, including the company may, uh, not being able to deliver popular games consistently. It's dependent on a small number of franchises managing uh, its own growth and the potential for legal proceedings. This time, however, Activision Blizzard has said one potential risk factor is that it may not be able to, quote, realize the expected financial and operational benefits, unquote, of the job cuts it announced alongside its most recent financial results. Furthermore, the publisher has said that the cuts uh, could actually negatively uh, impact its business. So, um, the... Uh, I read in there some article to this when this was posted last week, and one of the things that I came away with was that um, what they were basically saying, what Active Blizzard was essentially saying, is that these eight, this eight percent job cut that they, they were doing uh, last week or two weeks ago, um, they don't know if that's going to be a good move for them in the future or not. It may be a good move, but they don't know if the benefits. Are going to be they all they all that it caused them thus far is you know bad PR but that's what essentially what they're saying um, regarding the 8% cuts of the 800 people that were laid off um, and there was also more information regarding um, that this this move may also uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, lower morale with the other employees as far as like you know are they going to be affected as well like are, are they also probably thinking like you know should i look for another job if this if that is the case so yeah it, it, it basically came down to like yeah we don't know if this will work or not um I, this feels kind of like a situation where uh, it, it sounds like a big company trying to cut costs the way that they think that they can and We've seen it time and time again, Anthony, where company goes down or something needs to change and there's a bunch of layoffs. Um, this is barely news to me because every company kind of goes through this when they cut. That's bright, apparently. Um, every company goes through this when they when they cut corners or they 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 fire employees and stuff like that um it's it's not i mean I don't say this correctly anthony like my my point is is this this isn't this isn't something that everyone should just be like well no shit sherlock because no it's it's not a no shit sherlock this is what again every company goes through when they fire a bunch of people or lay off a bunch of people to to fix costs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and one of the things I've been hearing also, just the the reason behind it is because last year in 2018, games were selling at an all-time high because we had a lot of great games last year that people were buying up. Um, yeah. and, and analysts out there was, they put out a projection. They, they, they thought that this would, 2019 will be a follow-up to what happened last year. Um, or the year prior, I might be mixing up the years here, but essentially they were forecasting that because of the growth and the way that the uh, the the sales were for the industry, that 
oh, we can bring on a lot of these employees and we can grow from that and it would get bigger. But the analysts were dead wrong on this one. So that's why you're seeing cuts from uh, Activision Blizzard. That's why you're seeing cuts from other game companies as of right now. And it sucks for, the people, for, those, for those people who lost their jobs. Absolutely. Like, I hope that all of them get jobs, you know, quickly and get back on their feet. But this is something that a lot of people in the suits that predicted that it, essentially they got wrong. And now they're kind of paying the price for it. So now they're readjusting. Now game companies and to people in the higher ups are going to readjust expectations for for this year and next year and have a better understanding of, okay, what is realistically is going to be the game sales for our next game for next year versus, you know, what we have it for. So that's something that they are going to tackle and it's something that I think the one thing to remind people that, as you, as you said, you're right, like this happens all the time. It's just like we've been seeing much more abundance of it recently. So... Yeah, yeah, I just people need to understand like I'm not defending Activision slash Blizzard for firing eight percent of their workforce. Like that's I don't I don't ever agree with massive layoffs like that. Um to me that's that's a cheap way of trying to adjust costs. Um if you are gonna fire your entire workforce, at least for Christ's sake, I hope that they got their pensions. Exactly. Um but you know, I know that a lot of the people that were cut off, that a lot of that eight percent were just interns are employees like just standard employees that were just paycheck to paycheck they weren't contracted people mm-hmm. so like i know that a lot of people were in that group they were contracted but there's a lot that weren't so it, it's it's a rough business you know it, it it really is a rough business to work for a triple a publisher because it, you could be laid off very quickly um but you know what Activision and Blizzard are doing is they're trying to figure out how to how to fix costs, how to move money around properly because games did not sell for the well for them in the last year, and so they you know cutting you know doing the eight percent they did lose quite a bit of uh, stockholders, they lost quite a few people that were investors. So I think that's why it's coming out there like oh, we don't know if it's a good idea or not. Well, yeah, no company knows is it a good idea or not. They, I mean, look at Nintendo when their CEO like cut his own paycheck to make sure that other people were paid. That could have failed miserably. Like that could have been a real bad thing. But that's the entertainment industry, you know. Like you take those kind of gambles all the time. Yeah, and the game industry has never been uh, stable. Like, and, and not by any measure. Yeah, like I'll, I'll take my own uh, experiences, like. Over the years, like, you know, before I got into the game, uh, uh, covering games for quite some time, like, I wanted to, you know, make games or help make games or get into the game industry. But the problem is that after after a while, I realized that job security is not great in the game industry. You're consistently moving from one place to another unless you're at a uh, big company that will allow you to stay for a lot longer, like a Blizzard, like a, uh, well, like a Valve, I guess. <laughs> um, but, like, yeah, like, the... It, the, the, the norm of, of working in the game industry is going from job to job to job to job. Um, and it's something that it, it shouldn't be the norm, but it is. And when I realized that, it's like, oh, wow, okay. Uh, let, me, let me go back on the whole making the a game dream thing uh, for a later time. So, but yeah, like this is this is just kind of norm. This is also, just, again, it's all of analysts uh, mis- misquoting or kind of mispredicting the uh, the future of what game sales were going to be and bring out a lot of people and then they turn out to be a dead wrong. So, so yeah, um, again, but, uh, you know, for those, again, for those who lost their jobs in the Activision Blizzard layoffs, uh, you know, I hope, you know, you guys get on your feet quickly if you haven't already and um, find jobs, you know, as soon as you can. Yeah, I, I completely agree. I think, uh, I, I really hope that those people find places to work or, Something something great happens and, and, and they they get on their feet because I don't like when I don't like when I see like math layoffs like that in any company. If tomorrow Walmart did that shit, I'd I would be I would be just as upset about it. I guess you could use the word upset. Mm-hmm. Um, I hate seeing it because it's just it's it just means people lost their jobs, just straight up lost their jobs. So 
that's the unfortunate aspect. But on the other hand, like if we're talking about it from a company wide perspective, this barely qualifies as news in my book. All right. Okay, so moving on to our next topic at hand. This is regarding <laughs> this is regarding something that happened uh, not too long ago. Um, THQ 